So, Anna Kasparian claims to be a leftist. She's quick to go around calling other people fake leftists. But she is spreading right-wing, tough-on-crime propaganda on the Young Turks. She, she put out a new video titled, Why Are Violent Criminals Not Serving Jail Time in California? Um, let's take, take a look at a part of that. Three suspects have been arrested for their alleged role in a botched robbery where a Monterey Park, uh, California police officer uh, was shot and killed. That was the result of this botched robbery. So 26-year-old Gardiel Solario was the officer who was shot and killed. He had only been on the police force for one month. He was a rookie cop. And when he was outside of an L.A. fitness gym waiting in his vehicle, he was approached by uh, one of the suspects who then proceeded to attempt to rob him. The situation fell apart, and in the end, again, this 26-year-old police officer, rookie cop, was shot and killed. Now, the Los Angeles District Attorney, George Gascon, did a press conference where he addressed the severity of the incident. So let's take a quick look at that. The defendant got out of a car nearby, approached Officer Solorio with a gun drawn in what appeared to be an attempted robbery, Officer Solorio was in his vehicle. Officer Solorio attempted to flee by backing out of his vehicle when the suspect fired multiple times. The defendant then returned back to the vehicle where a juvenile was behind the wheel and they fled the scene. Today, we'll file one count of murder with special circumstances allegations that the murder occurred during the commission of a robbery against Carlos Del C. Join us at Leo Vegas Online Casino and enter the Roaring Bingo Lab. Enjoy a variety of rooms when you begin your bingo fun at Leo Vegas. Carlos Del Cid is the name of the individual who ended up shooting the weapon or firing the weapon and shooting and killing the cop. Um, it's interesting that in that press conference, Gascon mentioned the enhancements uh, that will be added to the charges here because he is not a fan of enhancements, including gun enhancements. So, for instance, if someone has committed a crime and while committing that crime, they were in possession of an illegal gun, an illegal gun. Gascon does not like to add additional charges related to the illegal gun, which I think is very strange in a state that purports to care so much about gun control. So when you have an opportunity... So what Anna wants is for cops to have more guns. Yeah, she wants more police militarization. That's a good idea. Opportunity to penalize or prosecute someone who is in possession of an illegal gun. You should maybe take that opportunity. Just, just saying for a second. Now let's get into the details about who Carlos Del Cid is. Carlos Del Cid is again just one of the suspects here. Uh, there were two others who were arrested. One of whom was a 17-year-old who drove the getaway vehicle. Since he's underage, we don't know too many details about him. Uh, those records are sealed. Um, so here's a photo of him, his mugshots, uh, and there are many mugshots of Carlos Del Cid because he has a lengthy criminal record and was not supposed to be roaming the streets considering his violent criminal record. What do I mean by that? Let's get into the details. Court records show Del Cid was arrested in February of this year. After pleading no contest to two felony charges, he was sentenced to 180 days in jail and four years formal probation on March 10th. The 20-year-old was actually released the next day for what jail records describe as a short sentence. All right. George Gascon was asked about this, like, what's up with this short sentence? Why didn't your prosecutors, you know, ensure that this... Yeah, so, um, you can look at the whole video, but she, she does, she, she does the, this, uh, these, like, tough-on-crime politics, um, making it seem as if 
this this guy was just allowed to roam free in the streets and no one's gonna punish him for that um in fact it looks it almost looks um for example like it looks, looks almost the same as the the 1998 um campaign ad where uh, george h w bush uh, um that george h w bush ran against uh, michael dukakis saying that there's this one guy willie horton who's black who who he just let roam free in the streets without any any punishment so let, let's just take a look at that at that um Bush and Dukakis on crime. Bush supports the death penalty for first-degree murderers. Dukakis not only opposes the death penalty, he allowed first-degree murderers to have weekend passes from prison. One was Willie Horton, who murdered a boy in a robbery, stabbing him 19 times. Despite a life sentence, Horton received 10 weekend passes from prison. Horton fled, kidnapped a young couple, stabbing the man and repeatedly raping his girlfriend. Weekend prison passes. Dukakis on crime. Yeah. Yeah, Anna, she sounds just like that. She sounds like a, a 90s era anti-super predator politician. Um, I mean, and you know what ended up hap You know what ended up happening? Um, so on, on Twitter, this one guy, Al um, Alex Karakatsanis, a who is a civil rights lawyer who is an expert on uh, the, the criminal justice system, uh, calls her out for her um awful take on this issue so um that here's let me just find what what he had to say um he writes i've never seen the young turks before show but uh, several people have sent me videos of this person recently i've rarely seen a more confused and dishonest presentation of how public of public safety issues it's a mix of false police union propaganda and profound ignorance anna re responds by saying i don't think there's much to debate a violent criminal who was charged with kidnapping and be beating his partner was released from prison one day after he got a 180 day prison sentence and then proceeded to murder a cop during a botched robbery so um yeah and and she doesn't want to listen to any different points of view. She doesn't want to listen to the progressive point of view. She always goes around saying how, for example, like Jimmy Dore doesn't read anything, but she doesn't want to look into any, to want to read anything else on, on this matter. Um, like, I, I think he should go to jail for shooting a cop. Don't get me wrong. But Anna thinks that the problem is that people are being let off the hook and that the prison population should be even larger. And I, um, America has the largest prison population of any modern nation, and I'm sure a lot of the, the prison population is in California. And, and during COVID, as prisons were overcrowded, TYT was running these tough on crime say, talking points, doing the same segments, the same talking points. And this was before vaccines were available for, for anyone. And so, I mean... Anna, she pretends like she's a leftist, but she, I'm sure, um, let's face it, probably the way, what influences her to, wait, to think the way she does about criminals, the way she does about this one guy she's talking about who shot this cop, which I think is wrong, but the, what, what, the, what, what influences her to think the way she does about this guy is the fact that she's rich, that she's from a rich background and she's never had to deal with, um, she's never been affected by sociological problems. She... She's a millionaire. She took all that Jeffrey Katzenberg money that TYT got, and and she she's not not a real real leftist. So there you have it.